Hello YouTube, um, today as you see in the title, um, I'm going to show you how to make a slingshot with only a Mountain Dew bottle. Uh, take some skill to make. Just joking, it takes zero skill to make. Um, I'm just taking it apart right now, because I don't want you guys to see actually what it's made out of and stuff. It's actually very easy to make. First of all, you need a Mountain Dew bottle. Yeah, that's right, Mountain Dew. A lot of people drink Mountain Dew, so this shouldn't be a hard thing to find. This needs to be a bottle. Um, preferably, uh, let me check what ounce this is. Preferably a mm, 20 ounce can. That's what I'm using. Um, so basically, you're going. Here's what you're going to need: rubber band, Mountain Dew bottle, obviously, a hammer or something to hammer with. Uh, one screw or nail screw works the best. And then some wire or something that when you attach something to it, it won't bend, something strong. Um, basically, you only need a lot of this, and that's it, and maybe a lot of rubber bands, but see, I've got a ton, like, entirely in a bag. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to the bottom of this thing and get everything out of the way here. You're going to take your screw and your hammer. Now, the reason we're not using a screw on this, you could use a, a, um, a screwdriver for this, or a powered screwdriver, whatever you'd call that, honestly, I have no idea what you call it. But, um, so this is what you do. You're going to take the bottom of it right in between, like, as you can see, there's, like, little indents. Still, be quiet, I'm making a video, please, on how to make this. So, you, Dylan better watch, too, because he wants to make one of these. So, um, as you can see, these little indents in the bottoms of the bottle, there's like one, two, three, four, five of them all around the bottom of them. You want to line up a hole right with the center of one of those. And then you take your hammer and you pound it in there. You could use a nail for this, but uh, 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 screws work a lot better because they hold in stronger. So since I've already got it nailed in, let's just say I'm nailing in here, and yeah, I'm nailing in. Then you get it through to the part where there's no binding or whatever you'd call that. Then you're going to take it somewhere to the side. Make sure it's like angled to the side. Like as you can see, that's angled. It's not going straight through the center like that. It's angled. And then you go through like this. See, now it's all the way through. Now I can tighten it up. Now you got that part done. Basically, now you've got your thing made. Basically, now. But you can, like, suit it to where you want. Now you're going to take this. This is what your ammo, ammo is going to be. You're going to take it. You're going to bend it. See, usually I use my uh, teeth, which is a lot easier. But I'm using my hands right now because you guys won't be able to see anything going on. So you bend it like this. Oh, and you're also going to, sorry for not practicing this. You're also going to need some wire cutters to cut the actual wire. Um, so then I just bit on it a bit there so I could get it in place. So basically what you're doing is you're making a small little oval. You're going to want to use your teeth for this. But don't, then make like a half oval, like that, like a hook. Then you're going to take your cutters, and you cut it so there's going to be a longer one. Like this side's longer. Cut that so it falls off just like that. Then you have your ammo. Just like that. That's what it, the ammo looks like. As you can see right here, I've got a ton of them. Um, so yeah, then um, for your ammo holder... You're going to, again, take your screw, but it's screwed in there and I don't really want to take it out. And you're going to punch holes in the top of it. And you're going to take your long end. And you're just going to put it right in there, just like that. And that's pretty much a really good holder for it. You know, it doesn't come out when you turn it upside down. So that's a good holder. Um, so that's your holders and stuff. 
Don't seriously. I'm not doing anything. Then to load it, um, you're gonna put your your rubber band over where the head of the screw is. Put it over like that. Then put it around the little indent like that. So one side of the rubber band's going that way. The other side's going the other way. Then you're gonna come it across, and then in between the two indents, there's like a valley, I guess you would call it. And that's where you're just gonna pull back on your thing. Dylan, seriously, shut up. So it's just like that. So then you've got like your little thing that you're gonna shoot with. So now, Dylan, if it asks you to come here, come here, Dylan. Nice. I'd rather have the bottle though. Why? Because it's a lot more better and it holds ammo and stuff. So and I bet that messes could up a lot. Okay, Dylan, take the camera. Take the camera, Dylan. Nice. It's basically what mine does. Okay, so Dylan, come here. Pick up the camera and I'm going to show it how it works. Okay, so come over, come over here. Here, I'll just. No, stand up. I'm taking a video of doing this. Make sure you get actually a good shot. Dylan's a bad cameraman, so I'm sorry if this I'm is bad. I'm not a bad cameraman. So then you're going to take the part. As you can see, we've got that right there. Over in between the two crevices on each side, just like that in between the, or on the outskirts of the indent. Then on this side, as it loops over, it goes on the inside. Both of them go on the inside of one of them. Then, you're going to take your ammo, your blue ammo that you made. You're going to put it over just like that, so it's like that. Then watch this. You just pull back. And you fire. Camera probably didn't see that, but come here, camera. I heard it fall over here. As you can see, it's way over here. It nailed the way up there and dropped down. Uh, then, um, this is the part where you need a lot of rubber bands. So a lot of the time, the rubber band uh, was missing. But as you can see, I got it right here. And um, yeah, you can wrap all the rubber bands you want around here, just like that. I have one that like shoots the same thing, but I like, but the rubber band doesn't like it. They cook, so yeah, but that one's terrible. No, we it doesn't. Have, I've shot it once, and it, was good. and it always backfires and nails me. Okay, and that's basically how you make a Mountain Dew bottle uh, slingshot. Uh, see you guys later. I can't stop.